Hi, in this video I'm going to go over the new OneDrive backup compatibility with the DAS to Blender bridge. So when you have OneDrive backup installed, what happens is your documents folder will uh, be redirected into OneDrive. And what I mean by this is, is if you open up the Windows Explorer and you go into any documents subfolder and just click on the address bar you'll see that usually the documents folder is in users username documents but when you enable OneDrive backup it redirects everything into the OneDrive uh, folder underneath users username OneDrive and then documents so this is important because anything that you want to configure any application you want to configure to write into the documents folder you'll want to make sure that either the application uh, is fully compatible with OneDrive backup or it at least is writing directly into the OneDrive documents folder rather than the um, the user username uh, documents folder and so let me show you how that works inside DAS Studio. If I go up to File, Send to, DAS to Blender, you'll see that the latest versions of the DAS to Blender bridge have an Open Intermediate Folder button here. And if I click that, it opens to a Documents DAS 3D Bridges DAS to Blender Exports uh, folder. And if I click the address bar, you'll see that it's using correctly the OneDrive documents rather than the username documents. So this is where DAS Studio will export files from DAS Studio for DAS to Blender to read. So now we'll see the corresponding location inside DAS to Blender or the, the Blender plugin. If DAS to Blender is installed correctly, Go to Window, Toggle System Console, and here you'll see that the intermediate folder is indeed looking into the OneDrive documents path. And if that's the case, then your files should automatically import without problem. Now, if your DAS Studio plugin is exporting to a different location, then the Blender plugin is trying to read from, then what you can do is go to whatever exports folder that the DAS Studio plugin is using. And you can always find that by going to the Open Intermediate Folder button. This will be the, the path that you need to put into Blender. So I'm going to con press Control C to copy that. I go into Blender going to uh, import settings and go down to auto import settings. I'm going to put a click here and then I'm going to open this up and type in or I'm going to paste in the path from DAS Studio and I click accept and save configuration. Now if I click import new Genesis figure, it's going to import whatever files was inside